Hi everyone, The Island Stacker here, welcome to another video. So today I just wanted to have a look and compare 22 karat to 24 karat gold um, coins. So first of all, I'm sure most of you probably know most of this anyway, but for those that don't, the differences between 22 karat and 24 karat. So basically the difference is the gold content within each of the coins. So 22 karat is 916 parts per thousand gold and 24 karat is 999 parts per thousand of gold so 22 karat is generally a mixture of different metals so you've got the 916 parts of gold and then it's generally mixed with either copper silver nickel zinc or a combination of those metals so for 22 karat gold so this is a modern 22 karat gold coin so this is probably got more copper in it than older coins as the royal mint seems to have gone with that which gives it a slight sort of pinkish hue especially if you look at the website on the royal mint's page around the product pictures of these they generally look quite red um i know it changed from previous so i've got this older sovereign so this one's obviously the 1849 sovereign i don't know if it will show that clearly on camera but you can see that this sovereign has a much more yellow coloring to it so closer to 24 karat gold coloring as opposed to this, which has a more sort of pinky hue. If I then compare with the normal 24 karat, you can see the older sovereigns were probably mixed with something more like silver, uh, as opposed to copper, which seems to be used in modern day sovereigns. I also have this half sovereign from 20, 20, excuse me, 2002, um, just to see, so some of the more modern recent coins so you can still see the color difference between these two just over the past sort of just over 20 years so that they obviously mix and match the different metals that they use within these sovereigns uh, as time goes on so 24 karat gold is obviously a lot more pliable and malle malleable uh, than 22 karat gold based on the fact that it's a not non-mixed metal so generally it's not used for anything like jewelry it's generally used for stuff like investment gold so stuff like coins or you can find it in medical and electronical appl appliances so there'll be small minute amounts in different electrical components so i know just using an example like you can get specific HDMI cables that have 24 karat gold plating on the end because it's better conductive and stuff like that so you won't generally find jewelry or anything like that made out of 24 karat 22 karat obviously being mixed is a lot more durable and has been used for gold jewelry so people have probably seen so stuff like half sovereigns like this generally have been made into rings or pendants or necklaces etc in the past and were part of general circulate circulating coinage uh, previously so they're obviously a lot more durable and hard wearing than 24 karat gold coins so the other thing as well with the different because the different metal contents etc the premiums can generally vary between the two metals, um, not metals, but the different contents. So for example, um, I use the American Eagle and Buffalo for an example, just to get a one ounce comparison because we don't have a one ounce 22 karat gold coin in the UK. So a 24 karat gold Buffalo generally has a premium at the moment, just when I looked on the internet of around 8% above spot. Whereas a 22 karat eagle, which has the same gold content in it, um, just a, with a mixture of other metals, only has a 4.25% premium over spot. So it's worth bearing in mind 
when looking for different gold coins. I know I always used to say, or I always used to prefer 24 karat gold because I prefer the more yellow color of the coins, etc. But I've de de definitely taken up to sovereigns, uh, especially here in the UK, over recent months just because of the premiums that are significantly smaller on these type of 22 karat coins over 24 karat gold. So it's worth bearing in mind when looking for stuff, check the premiums on similarly weight coins because you're probably going to find that 22 karat gold coins have a lower premium than their 24 karat gold counterparts. Um, also, um, carat as the as a word is obviously a measure of the content of gold but then this can also vary from location to location so here in the uk carat is c-a-r-a-t whereas in the u.s it's k-a-r-a-t so that again something varies depending on location but with 22 carat gold coins these obviously have been around in circulation for a lot longer than 24 karat gold coins. So things made of 22 karat have been in circulating coins for thousands of years. Um, just take this, the sovereign, for example, the modern sovereign, as it's referred to, has been around since 1817. But obviously before that has been minted in various different forms before it was named the sovereign. So the advent of 24 karat gold coins was is a much more recent uh, development i think it's a, probably due to the refining process and being able to make a purer metal in as the outset so i think gold coin 24 karat gold coins only came into sort of bullion in around the 80s obviously as processes have improved over time to be able to make a purer more um, 24 karat standard coin so yeah that's a quick look over the differences between 22 karat 24 karat let me know in the comments down below do you have a preference do you prefer 24 karat or 22 karat and why what what makes the this a choice for you over the other type but yeah, there we go. Let me know in the comments and thank you all for watching. Catch you all on the next one.